So we are packing for our camping trip there. You're overseeing everything. <laughs> she just got separated from other people because they were arguing and fighting. So she's helping with the van part while other people are helping in there. My son just blew up the tires. We're taking that apart so that I can have this um, stroller with us as well. Okay, so I am just kind of throwing things around. This is one day, one outfits for the younger girls, which are the six younger girls. They all have something that has their name on it. This right here is another day with their name on it. Somebody is working on projects. This is another day with their names on it. We will throw all nope, six. Nope, that was actually wrong. Those are two sets of pajamas for each of the younger kids. So each have two sets of jammies. Well. And um, these are three extra outfits in case anyone gets messy or anything like so that. So I am just planning. I have their clothes for Sunday up on like a hook. So those are the ones they're going to wear. So those are on a hanger ready to go. So that would be Sunday. And then we'd have... Um, Monday, Tuesday, all set, and then um, we can do laundry and then just swap that out so we don't have to bring so much clothes. Um, there's a laundry mat like five minutes up the road from where we're staying. It's just going to make it easier for me to have just a couple outfits and then to wash them versus bringing a ton of outfits and then not washing them. Another issue is this. I already switched the clothes over to like fall type clothes and it is hot. Like all my, um, their play clothes, they have some like t-shirts and then they have some long sleeve shirts, but their going out clothes were pretty much all like three quarter length shirts and whatever. I did find some t-shirts, um, but it is hot. It is like almost 90 degrees today. It is warm out there. So I wanted to make sure that they had um, stuff that was going to be appropriate, especially if we're going to be outside quite a bit. Um, they can always bring sweatshirts because at night it does get cooler. Their pajamas are all like long sleeves, but we do that even in the middle of the summer because it gets fairly warm. Uh, I mean, fairly chilly in when you're tenting. And we do have, um, we keep a... Mr. Buddy, um, which is like a propane type heater type thing. And I also have a smaller type. Hmm. I hear music going off and I'm trying to decide what that's from. Let me figure it out. The canner was done. Okay. So, um, somebody changed the like sound to the timer. So I was like, wait a minute, that sounds like the timer, but at the same time, I like to change it so it's different, right? <laughs> um, so anyway, clothing. That is what we're going to bring. Older, the boys will bring their own stuff. Um, I'm not quite sure. Probably a couple girls will bring their own things that are older. But that's the six youngest clothes. So that's the six who are 12 and under. Um, my 12-year-old, she got all her own clothes. She just threw them in. So they'll be together with that. So, um, yeah. We'll probably try to decide how we're doing whatever with camping. Um, my husband's going to be there for part of the week and he's not going to be there for part of the week. So um, we're just trying to figure out like who's going to sleep where and all this stuff. Because normally like he's there and we also have older girls. So we're just trying to figure out how to arrange things. I will take you along um, tomorrow as I prep some foods for um going as well I think what I'm gonna do is my husband will be coming on Thursday and so I will have enough food to get us through Thursday and then I'll probably have him grab some like stuff from um the house and I'll just like pre-write on there what it's gonna be what he needs to bring or like put it in bags or something so he can just grab the bags out so when he comes on Thursday he can grab those bags and then bring them and then that would be like our next set of food. I think that's how we're going to end up doing it. And we are going to be in the city where food is affordable so I'm okay with if we need to pick up a couple of things as well. So first for breakfast I think what I'm going to do is I bought some cereal 
So I'm gonna have cereal and then sweet pea can have um, granola. And then I also am going to bring a case of eggs and then some of that canned sausage that we have. And I think I'm gonna bag up some oats. Okay, we're gonna go over breakfast. So I have five bags of oats all measured out. We use seven cups of um, oats and that will make a lot of um, oatmeal. So that will make enough for us. So each of those five bags in the back here has um, seven cups of oats and then I have a bag of brown sugar. So we will probably just be doing brown sugar and could you grab me a cinnamon? Mm -hmm. And my daughter's gonna grab a cinnamon to go with that. So cinnamon and brown sugar. Um, we have these four sausage patties that's going to be for two days. I'm also bringing a case of eggs. Um, I'm keeping all the stuff in the fridge in the fridge. This is just the dry goods for now. And then I'm writing down, I'll show you my little list here. Anything that has a highlighter that is going to be going inside of the, um, inside of the cooler. So I just want to make sure that those things are highlighted. So when we're packing the cooler, we know exactly what we're taking. So we have the sausage. So sausage and eggs will be another breakfast. We plan that for two breakfasts. We could probably get three breakfasts out of that as well. Um, the cinnamon will go with this. And then my girls will have the um, cereal. Yes, I'm bringing all four boxes of cereal because that could also be a snack while we cook or something like that if some people are ready and other people are not ready sometimes at the campground it can get a little bit confusing as far as people going to the bathroom people getting dressed people getting cooked all that type of stuff anyway four boxes of that and then this for sweet pea she loves that kind okay so let's go over lunch. i almost forgot these are what we're taking with us um, tomorrow morning. We are going to be doing some bagels and cream cheese just to take with us in the vehicle. So we are going to be doing really simple-ish type things. Um, it's pretty much myself and my older daughter who's going to be caring for the kids and meals and all that type of stuff. Um, obviously we'll be rotating things around and we're also not sure what we're doing on what day because I haven't even got that far. I haven't got that planned. I do know that I want to try to spend most of the days away from the play playground, away from the campground, so that um, the campground doesn't become like mundane to the kids. And we're going to be in the city, so we're going to be doing things like we have passes to like the museum and that type of stuff. Um, there's the big library there. We're not far from some um, the other city ish that's Ellsworth. Um, so we're just going to figure out what we're going to do. We'll probably do something every day. And because of that, I am also doing very simple lunches. Okay. So here is my lunch ideas. I have, um, lunch meat and cheese. Those will be going in the cooler. Then we'll be taking bread, mayonnaise, peanut butter, jelly. We also have, um, to go with those, we have a tote, which I'll show you of um, fruits and then we also have some chips and I'll show you all that in a couple minutes and then I'm going to share with you now what we're doing for supper. okay so for Sunday Monday Tuesday those are going to be stuff that we're just leaving the house so that type of stuff is going to be in the um, cooler and that will last okay so we'll have hamburgers hot dogs potato salad and noodle salad and bag salad for those days. So that will be all of our freshness for those three days. That's what we'll be having for um, dinners. And then the next day we're going to have, we're gonna do um, chicken and cheese quesadillas. So I have canned chicken here. Um, I have three quarts of that, which is six pounds roughly of chicken. I'm going to be putting cheese into the cooler. And then I also have a bag of rice if we decide to have rice with that as well. And these wraps here. I did write on my list that I'm going to be buying some gluten-free wraps as well because we did not have any in our freezer. So I have that as a two-buy type thing. So wraps, chicken quesadillas, we will be able to have all the sides that I'll share with you in a couple minutes. Um, there'll probably be a little leftover salad 
and but I have tons of fruits and vegetables that can go along with those chicken quesadillas. Okay, so then my husband is going to be um, he's going to be working the beginning of the week, and then he'll be taking care of animals and that type of stuff on Wednesday. So he'll be back. He'll be at the house on Wednesday, being able to care for those animals and. Um, we're going to be having, we're not that far away. We're going to be like going back and forth and that type of stuff. Um, anyway, I know for sure he'll be at the house on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I am packing a bag that has meat that's already made into taco meat. Um, and then I also have the cheese for the next few days, um, in that bag and I threw it all in the freezer. So that will be a bag that will like, he'll know that he can just grab the bag and that's what I need for the next set of meals. So for Thursday and Friday, I have tacos. So we'll have the um, taco meat, refried beans, I have canned refried beans, um, chips, and we'll also have um, some extra of these. She he uses these for tacos. She also uses those for um, like peanut butter roll-ups. She really likes those. Um, so I wanna make sure that we have plenty of those. That's why I'm bringing um, three containers or three packages of those. Um, so it will be tacos, chips, refried beans, cheese, and then salsa. I'll see, I might end up buying sour cream at the store, but I might not. I don't really know. We'll just wait and see. Or I might buy avocados. It really depends on my mood. I'm not sure. But those are the things that we'll pack from the house. So I'll be packing the chips, the refried beans, and the salsa. And then he will be bringing the taco meat and the cheese because from that bag. So we're packing that for Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday, we are going to do pulled pork and i'll show you okay so then at that point we're gonna have a lot of like um things that are already in containers um so after those two taco days we are going to be doing pulled pork so i have two of these pork chunks that we just canned and then i have two of those peachy salsas i also have a bag of rice so basically what i'll do is i would warm this up i would cook rice and I think we need to grab some two quarts of green beans. I just told my daughter she's going to go grab the green beans to go with that. And then we'll do that with rice and green beans. And if then if anyone wanted to have these on like a, for a pulled pork sandwich, they could do that as well because we'll have bread. And she's got the green beans. Thanks so much. Um, so that will be for... Saturday and then Sunday we will be having chili dogs and yeah so chili dogs and then whatever leftovers we have so I have three things of chili people could have just chili or they could have chili dogs or they could just have a hot dog I will probably at that point end up going to a store and buying like side salad and um another thing of hot dogs because we will be going to pick people up on that day. Yeah. Okay, so chili dogs. And then I'll show you the other stuff that I have to go with everything. So we can throw those sides in. And I probably will grab side salad to go with that as well. And then they will have chicken, which they'll actually have two things of chicken and mayonnaise to go for chicken salad. I'm probably going to get a little um baggie of cranberries because we usually like to have cranberries and then some seasonings to go as well so this is the other stuff i am bringing um yeah so we have these for sweet pea those can be for sweet pea or for anyone but they're okay for sweet pea this is the seasoning here i have these little half and halves we will start off our cooler with a regular half and half and then as the week goes on um, we will have other half and halves, um, peanut butter. Do you want to grab two jellies? going to grab two jellies to go there. We have some of these in case we run out of red yellow fruit. I have some hot cocoa. I also have this Nesquik. Um, these are not normal things, but yeah, we're going to have those. Um, this has a lot less carbs in it. 
So this would be good for sweet pea, especially if we're doing like hot cocoa at night. Um, and then I have, this pack has two ketchups, relish and mustard. Then we have a bunch of different granola bars here. We have this snacky type mix. Um, these tortilla chips will probably mainly be for our taco night. And then we have side chips, which will go for lunches. So we have these and then a couple of these chips, which are going to go for um, like our lunches to go with lunches. We also have these skinny pop popcorn that can go with lunches as well. And then I'm gonna bring some onions. Um, I like onions on hamburgers and I like them on hot dogs and I like them on sandwiches. And so we're bringing some onions. Okay, so I have one of these containers here and this all has fruits and vegetables. So the bottom has all apples in there. There is 10 pounds, all together apples, there is almost 20 pounds in here. Um, we have bananas in there. And then we have apples and pears on the top. So like, I think it was five pounds of pears, 20 pounds of apples, and then like five bunches of bananas. So this one right here is what we normally have in our vehicle, just on a regular basis. Normally this middle drawer holds um, diapers and wipes for us, but we're bringing a whole case of um, diapers. Yeah. So the bottom has snacks. There are different, these are, if you saw my um, thrift store haul, these are all the free snacks that were given to us. And then I threw some other things that I got from discounted at the bread store in there. And then this is sweet peas. I'll throw a couple more things in the top here. This has her supplies, but it also has um, her snacks in the top there. Um, and then I have this drawer here, which is going to have just random stuff. I usually bring two sets of drawers, but I'm just doing one. So this has towels and scrubbies, and it has like, I'm doing here, spatula, spatulas, spoons, um, pot holders, all that type of stuff. So the next one down is usually coffee stuff. I am going to bring some tea. I still have to go in here. I'm going to bring some tea. I also have this little tote that has a bar of soap in it. This is going to go over and I'll tie one of these towels over by our water spigot so people can wash their hands. Um, I do have other soap, but that will be for washing your hands. I just kind of randomly threw things in here. Um, coffee filters. We're actually bringing a coffee pot this time to plug in. And then just random things in here. These have all the kids' toothbrushes and such. This can probably come out because I'm bringing a whole package of trash bags. Yeah, just random things. All right, this is where we're at so far with this minivan project. That still needs to go into the three, or well, two of the um, sets of drawers need to go into. I'm gonna see through the side. Let's see. Might be able to put the drawers there. I think we're loaded, or mostly loaded. Let's go around the other side. Look, we even have a little bit of room here and there. I gotta put my cushions on top here, those black cushions. I'm gonna put those on top here and we'll still need some pillow room, I think. We need a couple more pillows. This pregnant mama needs some more pillows. Um, if you've ever been pregnant, you know the love of pillows. All right, shut door. But I think that we're all set. We have the meals, the meals prepped. We have, yeah, all the stuff, all the stuff. So, those hamburger, hot dogs, and then some lunch meat. We have, we're gonna do that. Um, 
or the grapes there, or those are just salads? Just salads. So, uh, potato salad here. This is noodle salad, and the one underneath is peppers. Okay. So, peppers, potato salad. Here's noodle salad, peppers, and then two potato salads. And then we have two grapes here. And then we're just going to shove what we can fit for probably the cheese. You can try these in. Oh, we're gonna shove those in there. And then I also have some veggies. So we have some um, the salad kits here. We also have carrots and we also have cucumbers. And apparently somebody was brushing their hair. So we'll probably put some of the cucumbers in there. Um, my daughter is getting cheese and pepperoni. And if we don't fit, if we cannot fit the, um, the veggies, that's okay. Because once we get there, we'll be eating some of this. And then we'll be able to fit the vegetables in it after. So she has the cheese sticks and then pepperoni. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it like this, and then we're going to get a bag with all the salads and veggies, and we will put those in after lunch today. Um, so we have the cheese, packages of cheese. I have this um, cheese, which is going to be going for a meal. We added some pepperoni, and we added a big half and half. And then my husband just came back with three bags of ice. We are going to dump the ice and get it in all the nooks and crevices. And that will be it.